What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome to part 3 of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. In the last episode, we made our way through Route 202, caught our second team member, aka uh, Bucky the Bidoof, and then came here to Jubilife City, and see, uh, we saw all the sights, you know, saw what it had to, uh, to offer, the, like the trainer school, looker, the clowns, and we got a bunch of items, and now it is time to move on over to the east towards Orberg City, and that means going through Route 203, but before we can even get into the route, Barry, our rival, is here, and apparently he's gotten a little bit tougher, so just like any good old rival, he is going to challenge us to a battle. So uh, here we go. He'll start with his level 7 Starly, knowing just Quick Attack and Growl. And I would like to try to use Bidoof to take this thing down, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. I'm most likely just going to have to switch train a little bit, but that is fine. You know, Bidoof, he's, he's getting there. Um, anyways, hope you guys are all having a good day. I am currently recording this video very early in the morning. Like, this is probably the earliest episode I've ever recorded here on the channel. So, hey, if you're watching this video, you're experiencing... Terraquake walkthroughs history and there's a crit. Let's go Bidoof. Um, but yeah, I'm recording this before I even go to school So it's not even 8 a.m. Because sometimes I'll say I'm recording early and it's really like, you know what? 10 11 a.m. But no, this is this is pretty dang early if I don't say so myself But uh, yeah, anyways now he's gonna send out his starter all the way up at level 9 and of course, this could either be Chimchar, Piplup, or Turtwig, depending on what you chose. And for some reason, even if he has, you know, Chimchar or Turtwig, um, he still doesn't have a stab move on his uh, on his starter for some reason. So yeah, for example, like this Piplup only knows Pound and Growl right now, which is just really strange. So I guess I can use Chimchar here if I want, and I probably should because... I don't think Bucky's gonna do too much to it, so, uh, yeah, but I apologize if I still have, like, that kind of morning voice, you know, um, literally got up, like, 20 minutes ago, so, you know, and my dog is barking at 7 in the morning, that's nice, not sure if you guys can hear that or not, I don't know if the mic will pick it up, also, I think Ember's gonna start to do more, even though it's resistant, uh, well, hey, we got a burn, though, that's nice, so, hey, at least we'll definitely win this battle. But yeah, just be prepared for this berry fight. He's kind of just gonna jump at you out of nowhere. And uh, just make sure you're all healed up because you're probably just coming off of like the trainer school and stuff. But yeah, this route takes you to Orberg City, the location of the first gym. So it's kind of interesting. You gotta go through, you know, two towns if you include your hometown, then a city, and then another city until you get to the gym. So yeah, and once you reach the city, you still have to do another thing in the city or right outside the city in order to get the gym leader back in the gym so there's definitely a large gap in between the first or in between the start of the game and the first gym but there we go a double level up for my team and George got taunt that is a move that I will probably never use anyways Barry can't believe he lost again because yeah he's gonna be saying that after like every time he loses and now he's just gonna run off to Orbrook City even though He's now going through a route with no Pokemon, so I don't think that's the best idea. I'm going to go ahead and potion up Bucky here, and we will continue on to Route 203. Now, if you're looking for some new Pokemon, you can get Zubat and Abra. Other than that, there's just like the typical Starly, Bidoof, Krigatot, Shinx. But uh, yeah, Zubat, you know, you got to be patient with it. It takes some time. Abra, you also have to be patient with it, but both of their evolutions are definitely worth it. And this man has a Krikatot. Now, I think I've talked about this guy before. You got to be a little careful with Krikatot because it knows that move by. And it will abs absolutely demolish you if you're not careful. You know, if it goes for by and you just keep on putting damage on it, that is, uh, that is going to end up screwing you over. All right, luckily we have Ember, though, so it's pretty easy to deal with. And he's just going for Growl for some reason. So yeah, the plan in this video is to get through Route 203 as well as the Orberg Gate. Um, that is a little just cave section before Orberg City, not too long. And then tomorrow we'll explore Orberg City. We'll do like the Orberg Mine. 
and then after that we'll take on the gym probably in Friday's video but uh yeah again I apologize if I'm like you know doing a little sleepy commentary or something because I am tired but uh you know that's just getting up early for you but I need to get this video done because tonight I'm gonna try to stream some more Scarlet and Violet so I guess this video is going up at you know the normal noon Eastern time today so if you want to see me stream Scarlet and Violet I am planning on streaming tonight at around 8 o'clock Eastern or something like that 8 8 30 usually is the time so yeah if you want to hang out in the stream then be on the lookout for that all right Bucky we need one more <laughs> he missed two supersonics all right oh and then we get a pointless crit okay thanks a lot game but yeah I'm not sure if I've talked about it too much um you know playing Scarlet and Violet I feel like I have a little but I am enjoying those games so freaking much man like they are so much fun the streams I've been doing are great I think the game is great. I love a lot of the new Pokemon. Also, you're not a trainer. And uh, yeah, make sure to pick up that Pokeball over there and let's fight this kid. But yeah, I love some of the new Pokemon. I still have not spoiled myself or anything on the, um, what's it called, the plot or like the storyline. However, I will say I have seen like plenty of the new Pokemon because like there was just too much content on YouTube that I had to watch. And I was like, okay, let's just see the new Pokemon. But I don't know, like, how the game ends or anything. So that's all still going to be a surprise. And I haven't seen, like, every single Pokemon. Like, it's not like I looked at the uh, regional decks or anything. So there will still be some surprises, which is very nice. And, oh, my gosh, you got a crit. Yo, come on. What is with the crits, man? If you missed the last episode, well, I don't think it was a crit. But we lost Bidoof to, like, a high roll from a Burmy of all things. That was just, that was so dumb. And I hate having to use potions so early on because, like, money is so scarce. But at least we are basically earning this money right back from all of these trainers. And oh, I guess he's going for Leer. That's why he's doing so much damage. If we can knock him out, though, we're going to get up a level. So, come on, Bidoof. Oh, a sliver, dude. And now he's going to get off one more tackle. Oh, that is annoying. That do be really annoying. Alright, well, down you go, Shinx, and we get to level 8. Sweet. So, yeah, Bucky is basically making his way back up to where Chimchar is. I was about to say Charmander. They sound pretty similar, okay? Cut me some slack. Alright, right up the staircase, this kid's kind of just going to ambush you. So, yeah, watch out for that. But because this is, like, you know, only the second round of the game, we're still seeing a lot of the generic Shinx, Bidoof, Starly. Oh, I guess you have a Machop. Okay, that's cool. I should probably switch out. But, uh, yeah, it's just a bunch of the same old Route 1 Pokemon. I talked about it last episode, or maybe the first episode, but, uh, you know, the more you progress in the game, the uh, larger variety of Pokemon you're gonna see. Also, I talked about this in the last episode, but the first gym is a Rock-type user, so start planning on how you're gonna deal with that, especially if you're like me and you started with Chimchar, you know? You might want to pick yourself up, like, a Machop, which you can get very soon. Um, really, a lot of the Route 1 Pokemon aren't that great, though. Like, Starly, Bidoof, Shinx, they're not really going to be able to do too much in the gym. So, if you started with Turtrug or Piplup, you're fine. But Chimchar, he's a little bit of a different scenario. Anyways, Machop is going to go down. That's going to be some nice split EXP. And now we will take on the lady chilling up here in the grass. And I believe she has like a team of four. And I'm pretty sure they're all freaking Bidoofs. Alright, she just had a Bidoof, Starly, Budu, and Abra right there. So a couple of new mons. And I am still have the speed up button on. Whoops. I guess you saw a little behind the scenes. Well, that's not really even behind the scenes, but whatever. Um, yeah, so Budu is a new grass type in Generation 4, and you can find it north of Jubilife City, and also here's a Psyduck, but yeah, speaking of that area, you can go north of Jubilife City right now, however, you're going to be blocked off pretty soon by a uh, Rock Smash Boulder that you won't be able to deal with until after you get the first badge, but you can check out, I believe it's what, Route 204, and there's a few trainers to fight, and you can also find Budu in the grass. So, that could be something that helps you in the Rock-type gym if you're looking for something. And I've always wanted to use a Budu, but I decided this playthrough 
it's just not the one. You know, it's, it's, it just isn't. Anyways, we're taking some hits here from Psyduck. Luckily, oh, dude, come on. Why is everything living with like a sliver of health? I swear. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, George, get out here. You have to finish the job, I guess, against the stupid Psyduck. Oh my gosh, and we get a crit. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. No, you hate to see it. But anyways, at least that was your only Pokemon. And that is the last trainer here on Route 203. So let me pop another quick potion. Running low on these things. But we're almost to Orberg City, so that's fine. Um, Real quick, let me grab the final two items. First one, if I don't run into wild Pokemon, I believe this is going to be... And uh, X item, I think, or it's a repel. I don't know. It's one of the two. Let's find out. I'm going with the X item. Hey, hey, hey I was right. It's an X defend. And before we head into the Orberg Gate, let me try and get through this grass. We don't have access to repels yet, which is kind of annoying. Oh, but there is a repel. All right, you know what? I'm just going to use that right now, if I'm going to be honest, because we're about to go through a cave, too. And I just don't want to deal with the wild Pokemon. So, yeah. There we go, that is a lot easier. Alright, so this is the Orberg Gate, and in here, the new Pokemon you can get are Geodude and a Psyduck. Now, this guy's actually not a trainer, he's gonna comment on our Poketch, and then he's gonna give us the HM for Rock Smash. Now, this HM is the first one you get here in the Sinnoh region, and you're gonna need it after you beat the first gym in order to get to the next town. So you might want to go ahead and catch yourself a Geodude, even if you're not gonna use it on your team. Just so um, it can use Rock Smash. And of course, there's a bunch of other mods that can use Rock Smash as well. It doesn't have to be just a Geodude. Now, there is a Camper and Picnicker in here that will actually battle you. And yeah, these will be the final two trainers of the episode. So, um, Starly here should go down relatively easily, I hope, as long as we don't get freaking critted or anything. And I hate when they go for Quick Attack, too, because, like... You know, we should outspeed. I'd assume Bidoof outspeeds. Oh, well, never mind. I went for Tackle. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, and then we missed, dude. Oh, it's a 5% chance. Like, I don't understand. I do not understand. I mean, you made Scratch and Pound 100% accuracy. Why not Tackle? Why? And, like, even then, 95% chance to hit. And I just, I, I miss it way too often. I do not get it. Maybe Camper Curtis is hacking or something. I don't know. How oh, great. And we get outsped by Shinx, too. Yeah, I know Bidoof isn't, like, the fastest thing in the world. He's a little plump beaver. And there's a crit that actually matters. Thank you very much. But, yeah, look at him. He's, like, a little furry, big old chunky ba uh, beaver. So, I'll cut him some slack. And we get to level 10 there. So, both of my mods are now in double digits, which is cool. Insufficiently raised. Dude, you're like a young kid. Do you even know what insufficiently means? I mean, it's not too crazy of a word, I guess. All right, time for the final trainer. You can't avoid these two, though, by, like, just walking around them if you want. But I'm going to fight them just for the experience. And because it's a walkthrough, you know, I'm going to show it off. And you just have a Bidoof at level 9. Should be pretty easy for my boy, Curious George. Heck, yeah. I love you, Curious George. You were one of my favorite cartoons. And now I'm using you on my team. And you're the starter, so, like, you know, you could arguably be the MVP towards the end of this series. I don't know. We'll just wait and see. Dang, I just rhymed it, too. I'm a poet. Didn't even know it. Down goes the Bidoof with the Pointless Crit, and I've got nothing to rhyme with that. All right, so that takes us to level 11, and that is the end of the battle, which takes us to Orberg City. So, yeah, it's really not too long of a trek in between the two cities, which is nice. But let's go ahead and head on out of this little cave entrance. And in tomorrow's episode, part number, what will that be, four, we will be exploring Orberg City, checking out the Orberg Mine and all that good stuff. For now, though, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, deuces.